Hello, everyone. How are you doing tonight? Good? Yeah, welcome to the 46 Mill, Mill Valley Film Festival. Yeah, it's not great to have this big festival around, around no? Yes. My name is João Federici. I'm the world cinema programmer and the Vivo Cine uh, manager. As you know, this film we're gonna watch tonight is part of the Vivo Cine. Um, I hope you are prepared for this next nine days of great films that are we program only for you. Yes, and uh, you, we prepare for our members, our great and devoted audiences, and uh, who made this film festival a celebration of storytelling and community. Over the next 90 days, we're gonna play 149 films. Yes, wow, yeah. <laughs> and the 41 there, there are films that are, is part of the program, the World World Cinema. And they represent 41 countries. And uh, the film you're gonna watch tonight is from Ch Chile. And uh, 12, a dozen of them, these films that we have in the world cinema is already picked from their entries for their countries to represent their countries for the best international film festival at ARC, uh, international film festival, international film for the Oscars. Yeah, good, yeah. Thank you to you, our audience numbers are going up Ticket sales are up by 29% over last year. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. However, <laughs> however, I need to tell you that uh, our audience is still half of the post, po uh, half of the pre-COVID. Yes, and uh, to avoid co cuts in important year-round programs and to f the festival, we launched a Resilience Fund campaign. And already a generous donor stepped up with $100,000. $100,000, and it's better because matching gift lasting whole the festival. So it means that uh, every dollar you donate, you'll be doubled. So please, if you can, use your phone to scan the QR that is back behind me and donate, make a donation. Yeah, today of any amount, okay? You also can donate by at the box off, outside you have also this key code, and uh, when you buy your ticket, you have down there, you have some boxes that uh, you can, you know, just go there. You will really appreciate. Uh, your support keeps the institute, institute pulsing with creativity and innovation and it helps to continue nurturing the art of filmmaking and supporting emerging talents, curating exceptional films and fostering a love for cinema. Your support, yes, is the key to preserving the legacy of the California Film Institute and the magic of the Mill Valley Film Festival. Please, thank you so much for your support. Thank you, thank you. We are a community, we need to help each other, you know? And this, you know, this, we bought this Theater Sequoia in 2008, and this is already also in our, in our plan because we don't want to lose this, this space. We want to keep, and this is totally community theater. And your support, support this theater to, to keep it running for us, okay? Thank you. As you know, Thank you. Uh, as you know, Viva El Cine initiative is, 
your passport to captivating journey through Latin America, Latinx, and Spanish language storytelling, where altogether transcend borders and dive into a world of vibrant cultures, diverse identities, and rich histories. I want to thank our community partners, BA VAC, Canal Alliance, Hispanic Chamber of Commerce in Marine, and the Multicultural Center of Marine. This year, Vivo Cine showcases, among shorts and features, 25 films representing Mexico, Costa Rica, Brazil, Nicaragua, Spain, Argentina, Chile, and Colombia. To, yeah, tonight, yes, hello Latinos, <laughs> como están? E brasileiros também, não? Todos estão na sala. Oh, look at that, yeah. <laughs> so, tonight we have the West Coast premiere of The Settlers, Los Colonos, directed by Felipe Galvez from Chile. The film was the winner of Phi Pressi Award at Cannes, and it is the Chile's entry, as I said, for the best international film. We are happy to have the writer-director, Felipe Galvez, with us. And I want to invite him to the stage for a few words before the screening. Felipe. Yeah. We have another light here, no? It's super dark. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hello. 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 Thank you so much for accepting our invitation. We are so thrilled, you know, to watch this film. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you to thank you to the festival for the invitation, and thank you all of you for to be here. Um, this movie, okay, is my first movie. I worked for nine years in this project. Um, an important part of my life. I lost my head. My my head. <laughs> The process. Um, this movie is about um, a page who was the lead from the official history of my country. It's about a gen about an, a genocide of. Uh, but I am not a historian. I am a filmmaker. It's a western. It's a western movie for me, and it's happening in the another side of the continent. You know, uh, in the end of the world another landscape, but the same history. And the same, the same history. Um, I always would introduce the film. I, uh, you know, the normal is to say enjoy the screening, but I prefer to say have a good trip, and we can talk after to the, to the screening. Thank you. Thank you. Whoa, also after this film, you know, what an exceptional film. I, oh my God. Oh my God, what exceptional, exceptional work. Please help me welcome back to the stage the writer director, Felipe Galvez. Yeah. Yeah. So we, we have Diana to help us. Yes. Diana also, we work together in the Vivel Cine. She is the Vivel Cine Education. Yeah, thank you for being here. Ah, Felipe, thank you so much once again for sharing such an impressive and thought-provoking film. Yeah? The Settlers was one of the first films that I, I watched in Cannes, and I, I was pretty sure that I would love to bring it to our audience here. And it was the first one that I invited. I need to say that. Yeah. And uh, let's start, because you know, I have a lot of questions for you. I, I think you, you all also have your questions. I'd like it. I'd like let's start it for that thing that uh, what initially inspired you to explore it, this hidden history of the Selkman people and the colonization of the Chile. 
in, in the film, in your film. ¿Por qué te inspiró? ¿Qué fue lo que te inspiró a, a contar esta um, historia de, de la historia uh -huh. escondida? Eh, nada, eh, bueno, muchas gracias por quedarse. Eh, thank you so much for stay here. Eh, básicamente para mí Chile es un país que tiene muy mala memoria, eh, que desprecia su historia y me parecía más interesante ir a, su, a hechos históricos más eh, viejos para reflexionar de de hecho históricos del presente o más recientes. Chile is, is a country that uh, seems like it doesn't have memory. Uh, Felipe was interested in going back to history, uh, exploring a forgotten history and contextualize it into present history and present time. Um, eh, me pareció que hablar de este genocidio eh, servía para um, reflexionar sobre distintos tipos de violencia que existen en, en, en la sociedad. Depicting and discussing this genocide uh, was a way to explore just the violence of, of that is represented in history and in the present too. Um, lo que era violento para mí era que los Selnam hoy en día son uno puede comprar la imagen de ellos en un aeropuerto y son, el, son un souvenir de Chile. Entonces, ¿cómo un país puede transformar la imagen de un pueblo indígena en un souvenir sin antes contar la historia de cómo ellos fueron extintos? Uh, the, the image of the indigenous people of Chile is something that is a souvenir in Chile. And Felipe is mentioning that uh, how could there be souvenirs of these indigenous people, of the image of these indigenous people, and not really know the history? Yeah, uh, I'll take it there, because I, I, I know that uh, you said that, that uh, in the school, you don't learn this, the, 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 this history. It's like completely hidden from the, the whole history in Chile. How did you research You know how I think that was hard. You said nine years, <laughs> but to realize the film, to to uh, to do in production, uh, how was your work in in researching about it and to to bring back bring up the, the screenplay? Mm -hmm. Well, lo primero es que José Menéndez es un personaje real, eh, Maglilan también. Eh, los protagonistas son personajes, este... No, no, Menéndez y McLean solamente. Eh, dos. Los, los, los dos. Menéndez, Menéndez, Menéndez. Vicuña. A McLean. McLean. Chancho yeah. Colorado, yeah. they are real characters. Son personajes verdaderos, sí. Eh, y... Eh, Menéndez sigue siendo dueño de todo Tierra del Fuego. Uh, Menéndez still uh, owns the land. Eh, no había mucha información, no, no existe mucha información, pero había un libro muy interesante de cuando Chile envió a un juez a fines del siglo XIX a investigar las matanzas. Ese juez se quedó a dormir en la casa de José Menéndez durante toda la investigación, durante casi un año vivió en su casa. Y ese libro apareció hace 25 años en, en los tribunales de Punta Arena y me basé en esos testimonios. De un juez de un juez que Chile envió de la violencia de la So there wasn't much information about this person, however there was a book uh, that was based on the experience of a judge going into into this land and doing the research and the writing of this particular experience uh, of the violence uh, early in the 19th century. Claro, y ese libro solo apareció ahora. And this book is just recent. This is a, a, a new book and a new, new publication. Um, pero también, bueno, como dije, yo no soy historiador y no sé mucho de historia y no le creo mucho a la historia. I'm no historian. I don't really... Trust or know history that much. 
y también me basé más en las escenas que yo había pensado que habían sido borrados. Yo, yo, yo trabajé como montajista durante 15 años y pensé en ocupar escenas que yo sentía que habían sido borradas de los western. Eh, creo que el, Los Colonos está construida con muchas escenas borradas de otras películas. Uh, and, and Felipe really borrowed and re recreated what he thought most of the Western movies had removed from their films. So he was uh, executing that in his films. And I take it that also, that I know that you, you are a fan for, for Westerns. And uh, I, I've heard about that at you know, John Ford mm -hmm. and also Glauber Hosha. Yes. Could you tell me uh, how they influenced your work? We can see the, here a, a, a lot of Western. I, I, I used to play to say that it's the most Western South American film that I haven't seen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, o sea, John Ford is eh, quizá el maestro que, que sabe manejar las reglas del género y del cual uno aprende esa regla. Uh, John Ford knows how to play with the rules, knows not to break them. Eh, no, y el maestro que, del cual uno a, en, aprende, ¿no? Como... A master to learn from. Y el Glauber Rocha es alguien que transita por el género porque mm, trabaja con escenas similares, pero lo, solo ocupa el género, no lo, no lo es como que transita por, por, la, por el mismo, por los mismos tópico, pero no por el género quizá. Glover Roch is a filmmaker who kind of navigates or briefly uh, explores the, the western genre, but he, he wouldn't actually play with the genre, but rather uh, use it as a topic. Y a mí me gustaba justamente estar entre los dos, entre eh, eh, tratar de estar en esos dos extremos, entre alguien que trata de hacer una película que cumple con el género y alguien que al mismo tiempo eh, usa el género para cuestionarlo, para criticarlo, para criticarlo desde dentro. Eh, hay muchos western revisionistas, pero a mí me interesaba hacer un western eh, de, de, de horror. Uh, Felipe wanted to navigate uh, and reference both filmmakers working with the genre, but also kind of uh, borrow it and um, Explore it briefly. Yeah. Uh, also, I know that uh, you said before, the Menendez family is the owner, uh, they are the owners of the most of the lands where you shot the film. How was that? And uh, how you describe <laughs> to be in the, you know, and uh, they were curious what are you doing, were easy, what, what, what was the, your challenges? to shoot in that land. No, the also the, the weather there, no? Mm. The family is not happy, obviously. <laughs> um, but it was difficult because many people don't want to help, uh, didn't want to help. Um, because it was difficult. For all the, the majority of the island is for the family. Um, I want to shoot in many places and was impossible. Sometimes was like this place is amazing, no, impossible, and this place is impossible. They don't, they don't authorize you to go. No, it's, it's from them. They, um, but but also the problem is some people don't want to help us because it can be a problem in the island. Mm -hmm. um, but in the end, we shooting in schools close to the airport, uh, in the garbage, like in the basural. Uh, Really developed the beach. The beach yeah. is the el basural de Tierra del Fuego, you know. Uh, how do you say basural? Uh, suja. Suja. Basural. El basural, el lugar donde ponen toda la basura. Dirt. Eh, como el basurero, el basurero. basurero. I would translate it like English? that. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> uh, just like uh, the 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 junkyards. The junk where you yeah. accumulate yes. the, the beach. The for beach. example, yeah. we yeah. use many. Yes. Where we can shoot. Yeah. And it, uh, uh, I need to say that uh, the visuals are quite striking, no? Uh, yeah, it's fantastic. You work <laughs> with Sim... Oh my God, oh, that's what caught me in the first, also during the story. 
uh, the cinematographer Simone D'Arcangelo. Okay. Yeah, Simone D'Arcangelo. Uh, how was your decision to 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 shot in three point two ratio aspect? That we think that I bring. It? What mm. do you? Was, yeah, the idea because that is striking for me. I love it. Okay, is the second movie of Simone D'Arcangelo? It's amazing. Second. second. It's amazing DOP, a new DOP. He was a DT of uh, Vittorio Storaro for 20 years. And it's a new DOP, it's a master of the color, I feel. And I shoot in 3.1 yeah. because it's the new technology. For me, the Western is about technology also. Uh, I feel like. All the Western, they are in the large format because that was the last technology for that time. Today, the last technology is the 3.1. That is the full frame of Alexa, Sony, iPhone, iPad. And this is the new format. And I'm, I am sure maybe John Ford uses this format because it's about to use the last uh, technology this movie is in 6K with a digital camera and with the full format. And Western is about civilization and about technology. And for me, and also because for me it's important the audience. And I feel like uh, Could you tell, for, uh, this talk, movie yeah. is for cinema, for me. It's like the best uh, screen is a cinema. But if you watch this film in a platform, in a TV, in your cell phone for young people, in your tablet, can be in a full, in all the screen, you know? And that for me is cool, like to think in the another uh, screen, not only in cinema, you know, in another screen. And it's a good experience if you see like the movie in a tablet, it's full frame, in a new computer is full frame. This is the new full frame, you know? The computers yeah. now, they are more square. Yeah, that's amazing. Uh, uh, I'd like to talk about a little bit about Segundo, because I think Segundo you is one of the, the your you you write that uh, he's not the, the real character. You you create that one in your screen screenplay or not? I am confused. But uh, uh, he is like it. Camilo Ar uh, Arancibia, yeah, Camilo Arancibia, the actor. He did like it, and you could watch the film in his eyes, no? And what he was suffering, because the film is divided into parts. And, and they are all violent, the, the, the parts. One is, you see the violence. The others, the second part, you heard the violence in the words they use it. Could you? Tell me what holds second, Segundo, the importance of that character, because I think it is. Um, it's difficult to follow in the, the, the story about these three characters and this mission to kill natives and what they did. And I want to put the audience in contact with somebody, you know, and I believe Segundo has the same or a similar information with the audience. Uh, Segundo is discovered this character, like this discovery, who is Bill, who is McLellan, um, in the same time of the audience. And in the same time, he's a Chilean. He's, for me, it's not a mixed blonde, he's a Chilean. It's, all, it's only a Chilean, you know. The majority of the country, the 95 of the country is a mixed blonde. And this is not a movie when the Spanish people are right to the America. It's, it's a movie about a how Chile killed the natives and how the Chilean was uh, a settler in his lands. Or, um, uh, and I decided building a, a young character because also I believe it's important. Segundo is very young. Yeah. Uh, it's, a, it's the first travel of him. It's the first time he participated in, a, in, a, in yeah. this. In this, no, in a, he's the second film of him, but it's the first time when Segundo travel, you know, in the first act. Mm. It's the first travel of Segundo. It's the first time when he killed. Uh, and yes, it was a um, decision to put Segundo, like, the audience, you know. 
and then you have the re reflection about the violence. And I don't know what is the most violence in the film when yeah, I, I when I'm shooting the film. I feel like maybe the more violence was the killing in my head, yeah. or the moment when Segundo killed the woman or helped to kill the woman. But in the end, when I watch the film during the editing, I feel I don't know what is the more violence, and I I am sure for for all of you. you Many of you have different point of view. What is the more violent scene in the film? You know, um, and Segundo looks is somebody who looks, but also is a killer. You know, that is my. In the end, he's a killer, and yeah. he is like a, he participate. But uh, there's not judgment from you when you were shooting. No, no, it's a decision it's of for the, us. No, it's you leave that for our decision. Yes, yes. Who is the bad people here? Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, with that mind, I'd like to jump for you for one or two questions. Okay, we have one over there, please. Uh, could you, uh, I, oh, really? Thank you. Hi, I like the score very much, the music seemed period appropriate, and also felt like a Western. So can you talk a little bit about your process for developing the music for the film? Um, yes, the music is amazing. <laughs> it's, a, it's a new composer also, it's a French composer. It's the third movie of him. Um, I always want to use music because I love the artificial thing in the cinema. I, don't, I never want to be realistic, you know? Uh, I don't care the, re the reality, and also I don't believe the cinema is a machine to represent the reality. I believe more is a machine to di um, uh, distort the reality or manipulate the reality. And I always want to use music for the... Uh, I don't remember the word in Spanish. No, I don't remember the for the <laughs> <laughs> transitions, for the transitions. And then when I watched the movie, it was like, it's, it's a bit slow, or I, I need, it's a bit realistic or contemplative, and I want to put the movie in more, in a fiction way, and how, and, and use all the tools uh, to the fictions, or, you know, like how you can manipulate with the music, a movie. And also for me, when I say have a good uh, journey, a good trip, it's because also for me it's a western, but the, the movie is is mute, is mutando, is it's changing, is mutando, mutant, 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 or muting during the, the the time, and I feel like the music helped a lot for start like in a western. Um, them has a lot of humor and horror and then it's like a thriller, and the music help, uh, help a lot in, in that direction. Um, and yes, the process was really good, and obviously also I am a cinephile, and has a, a, a lot of quotes you know, in the music for another type of movies, you know, has relation and connection, sometimes in some moments, in the Argentines maybe some, a bit more iconic, and yes, we, we want to be, because it's a moment of Western, it's a moment of cinema, and also I want the, the audience feeling watching a, a Western, and maybe with the music you can do that relation, you know, like it, uh, we are in this type of movie, and then you, and then it's not so cool and not so funny, and yes, it's a, I want the, the, the experience you can enjoy, and I believe the music helps to enjoy, you know. In yeah, I, I'm sorry, we need it. Thank you. Okay. We need to wrap up this. Uh, it's incredible. I want to thank you so much for being here, for accepting our invitation. <laughs> yeah. And thank you, you, our wonderful audience tonight. The festival is just begun, and uh, with many more other films to come. Also, if you like it, the Settlers' second screening is next Wednesday, 
October 11 at 3.30 p.m. Please help us to spread, uh, spread the word, okay? See you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Diana. Muchas gracias, muchas gracias por todo. Que venga más, no? Dale, gracias, thank you. Thank you so much.